because it doesn't do anything on this. So, with that, welcome out to Story Gymnasium, ladies and gentlemen, as we are getting set for athletic action on the basketball court. L Triple C Women's Basketball getting set to take on Eastern Wyoming. Should be a fun one. These two teams battled it out earlier this year with Eastern Wyoming coming away with the victory in Torrington. They had a uh, fantastic night shooting the three-point shot, and that was a huge part of their victory. On the other side, for the Golden Eagles, they're looking to try and they get themselves above 500 in Region 9 action as they set their sights on getting that three seed or that four seed. They don't want to travel in that opening round. A win today would give them a big boost in that as they win the opening tip-off, and Maddie Jones will give it back to Tyra Lovelock. Lovelock, the sophomore out of Australia, gives the ball off to Blanche Twaylu up top. She'll drive the left side of the lane, and off the side of the rim is going to get fouled and will step to the free throw line. Foul goes against Allie Tripp. First foul on Tripp, and Twaylu wears the number 11 tonight as they're wearing the pink uniforms. Gets to step to the free throw line. She slips that one over the rim to give the Golden Eagles the opening advantage on the scoreboard, one to nothing. They take that opening lead just 13 seconds into the game. Second free throw for Blanche. No good as that rolls off the right side of the rim, and Tawny Rodriguez scoops that up. Brings it up the right side with Moreno. She'll drive baseline, gets caught on the baseline, and fires it back out to Haley Long. Three ball up and good. Moreno able to find the post, and Haley from Gallup, New Mexico, drops home the first triple of the game for either team. And just 30 seconds in, it's already EWC on top. 3-1. Pass outside, finds Pinedo Saavedra. She'll wing one out to Twelu. Drives into the lane, gets caught in the middle of a quadrant, and the square of Lancers will come away with the turnover as they're able to force it away. So Twelu picks up the first turnover of the game for the Golden Eagles. We'll see if the defense can come up with a stop on the other side. Moreno gets it out to the left side. Ali Tripp wants to drive, but is cut off by Jones. Man-to-man -man defense played right now by the Golden Eagles. And Golden Eagles wearing those pink uniforms, white uniforms for the home team Lancers as Twelu jumps the passing lane. Long trying to get it to Moreno, and that one results in an easy cruise down the court for Blanche Twelu, who's got all three points for the Golden Eagles. Three all, 8.45 left to go in this opening quarter. As the ball heads to the baseline, Moreno dishes it out to the left corner. Three ball bounces hard to Moreno. She'll get trapped up on the baseline, but is able to feed one underneath the hoop where the Lancers are able to strike once again. This time, I believe that was Tawny Rodriguez who's able to get them that basket. Near side, it's Jones, gives it to Pinedo Saavedra. Spring takes it up top, dishes it back door to Lo Tyra Lovelock. She'll give it back out to Spring with 14 on the shot clock. Plenty of time to work with as Spring gets to the baseline. She's going to get fouled. And she'll get to step to the line on the second team foul by the Lancers in this opening quarter. That goes on Rodriguez. Lancers pick up their second team, as I said. And with 8.09 to go, Lila a chance to tie things up. She is shooting 71% from the free throw line on the year and splashes that one down to continue building up on what has been a really strong season for her at the free throw line. Second attempt for Spring is up, and that one settles its way through. Back to even we go. Five all with just under, or just over eight minutes to go. Pass near side is going to be given back out to Moreno. Hers is off of the back of the rim long, and a rebound tracked down by Tyra Lovelock, and a foul is going to go against EWC and Tanya Rodriguez being a bit too physical as Tyra got out there for the defensive board. Second foul on Rodriguez. They'll have to sub her out as Tamar Kopalevich will sub on to the court. And El Trip will get the ball up to Tyra Lovelock to bring forward. Right to left, they work it. Early going to this one, just two minutes in. Both teams knotted at five apiece as Twelu takes it to the free throw line. Runs into a double team, and that's going to result in a tie up as the Lancers get the ball and the turnover. Twaylu ran right into the arms of Luna Moreno, who gets another steal for the Lancers. That's their second of the game already. Inbounds play. It's going to be brought up the far sideline, and Moreno will bring it back into the between the circles. 
Looks down underneath, wraps a pass into, that's trip. Alley tries to dribble her way out and eventually finds Long. Haley will dribble against Pinedo Saavedra. We got an offensive foul that's going to be whistled against the Lancers from Eastern Wyoming and another turnover. This one goes against Long. She picks up her first. So the L Trip defense stands strong and is able to draw the turnover. And L Trip will get to come back the other way. Crowd here looking to get excited on something as the pace right now a little bit slower here this Saturday afternoon in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Snowy day outside. Golden Eagles celebrating their pink out day as Lila gets underneath to the hoop. Can't finish the shot, though, as Tamar Kopalevich plays some strong defenses and able to force the ball away to the near side. Lancers get it to Moreno. She'll drive to the top of the key all the way into the lane. Floats one up and over. Nice skill set showing there by Moreno, creating her own space. Get the Lancers the lead again, 7-5, to five, as EWC out in front. Twaley will take this one to the baseline, spins up and around, gives it out to Spring. Three ball off the back rim, no good, and the rebound scooped up by Long as she gets to her first board. Moreno wants to get out onto the run as the clock winds under 6.40 to go. Moreno hooks the pass, left side. No work it around to the top of the key where Trip pump fakes, and as she drives into the lane, a foul is going to be whistled on Tyra Lovelock as she got beat trying to get around to that corner. It'll be to Moreno to inbound from the baseline for the Lancers. 6.33 to go. Clock runs to under 6.30 as Long takes the ball left side. Gets a screen from Kopalevich. Feeds it back out beyond the three-point line where Gutierrez Siordia gives it back out to Long. Her shot from about 15 feet is no good and rebounded by Maddie Jones. She outlets it up ahead to Saavedra. Pinedo Saavedra gives it back to Twelu, whose drive along the side of the lane is going to see her shot off the side of the rim. Tripp comes away with the rebound as she gets out onto the run and is going to see another foul called against Maddie Jones this time, who was trying to get out onto the break and get in front of the driving Lancer. Second team foul against the Golden Eagles. The ball will be inbounded by the Lancers to the left side. Three ball up and no good, but the rebound by Alley Tripp inside gets the Lancers to a four-point lead. Largest lead of the game for either team is Tripp, who averages 11.2, is onto the board for the first time. 5.44 to go. Tyra Lovelock looks into the paint. Steps underneath, feeds it to Pinedo Saavedra. Good quick pass out beyond the three-point line. Circled over to Jones, who just sees her three-point shot wrap off of the rim and bounce out of bounds, last touched by Kopalevich. Kelly McGowan will step forward onto the court off of the bench. Golden Eagles in a scoring drought right now. Haven't been able to crack the scoreboard since it was 5-all. That was about two minutes ago as McGowan gets the inbounds. And we'll bring it over to a pass that's fed down low to Spring. Her shot high up off of the glass is no good. Another rebound picked up by Kopalevich. Lila having a little bit of trouble lining things up down low inside of the post. Screen set as Moreno drives into the lane. Again is able to silky smooth one up past Tyra Lovelock. And it's a 6-0 run that's been put on. Moreno leading the charge on that has four of those six points. Tyra will try to answer, drives into the lane, falls through the lane as she gets it outside to Twelu. Blanche spins into a double team, keeps the dribble, goes up and under, but fires one over the top of the rim where Kopalevich is waiting for his third defensive rebound. Up ahead, it goes into the lane where the ball is settled through the rim on another drive. This time, Siordia able to get her first basket on the breakout. 13-5, an 8-0 run right now by EWC with 4 minutes and 34 seconds to go. Marcella Pinedo Saavedra looks to attack to her left, hesitates, gets underneath the rim, and now fires it out to McGowan for three off the front of the rim short. Pinedo Saavedra has the rebound ripped out of her hands by Haley Long. 4.20 left to go as the pace keeps going on a, a tepid run by the Lancers. 13 to 5, they lead it. Kopalevich will drive inside, floats one over the top of the rim, and McGowan able to get there to silence that one on just one possession. 13 to 5 with 4.03 left to go. First quarter action. L Trip trailing by eight, needing a basket in the worst of ways. Spring gets it on the right side. Pinedo Saavedra moves it back over to Tyra Lovelock. Tyra 
Sees Spring flash into the post. Double team forms around her. Ball blocked away. And the rebound loose on the ground still eventually is going to be covered up. And the uh, media timeout should give us a break. We'll take a break as well. Back after this on LCCC Golden Eagle Athletics. Welcome back out to the home of LCCC. Just three more regular season games here at Story Gym, including this one for the ladies. Men will be out there on the court after this one, taking on the Lancers. What should be some more fun action here at Story Gym. Another rematch against a team that the Golden Eagles want to get some revenge for losing to earlier this year. That was a two-point loss for the men, 88-86. Golden Eagle women, they fell by double digits as they look to get their revenge. And Tamara Smith-White able to turn into the defense and get fouled as she will see Kopalevich pick up her first action. And Tamara Smith-White, who switches over to the number 24 today, will step to the line for the first time. 60% from the free throw line on the year. Can't get the opening shot to fall through, and the score stays at an eight-point advantage for the Lancers. Big deep breath for Smith-White. And on the second option, that one bounces hard off of the rim, and Kopalevich able to swipe up the rebound. She's got four in this opening quarter. A six-foot-three sophomore forward out of Israel. She'll take it on the baseline, backs her way into Smith-White, hooks it up with the left hand. That's no good, and the rebound slipped out of the hands of Smith-White and secured by Long. Haley will drive to the baseline, where she'll get stopped there by Kelly McGowan, and then releases the ball up top. Eventually it hands into Moreno's hands at the top of the key. Wants to drive, breaks past Twelu, and is going to get fouled by Pinedo Saavedra, who came in late and kind of saw the breakout opening there from Moreno to send her to the line. Rather send her to the line than give her the open look. That's the third team foul against El Trip. Five team fouls against the Lancers, but El Trip not able to take advantage of the free throw line, just three of six. First one is good for Moreno. Is these the opening free throws of the game for Eastern Wyoming? Comes into the game at 12 and 13, but six and two for the overall record as they make another one and that's a 10 point advantage with it 15 to five as Jessica Backish will sub onto the court in place of Kelly McGowan. 15 to five though, the Golden Eagles trailing is they'll deal with some full court pressure from the Lancers. Pinedo Saavedra gets the ball out to Tyra Lovelock and she'll break the press with Twelu. Twelu turns into Kopalevich, takes her into the lane, floats one that goes off of the side of the rim, and then another unfortunate bounce, but the Lancers can't secure the rebound, and it rolls out of bounds back to the Golden Eagles. Every time you think that the Golden Eagles have a nice little break, they just can't finish shots inside. Have not had success there in this game, and that's been the one place where consistently they've had issues. As Smith White, she nearly loses the ball off the side of her foot, gets it back, and is able to reset things as Twelu takes it up top. Blanche drives into the lane, is going to travel as they say she got caught with too many steps, trying to burrow her way through and pass Kopalevich, and another turnover by the Golden Eagles. All three of their turnovers right now have been listed against Blanche Twelu, as far as my notes go. Might have missed one or two as the ball inbounded. Golden Eagles will set up on the defensive side as 
Twaylu will sub off of the court. McGowan back onto the court. El Trip sees the answer back come from Emma Jimenez, who's getting her first minutes of this game. Jimenez kicks it to the corner. Three ball bounces high over the top of the rim and is going to be tied up as Kelly McGowan jumped for the rebound alongside of Ali Tripp. Possession arrow goes to. They've got it with the Lancers. So it stays with EWC. El Trip. Watch as EWC gets the inbounds play. Now the officials want to talk things over. And a long conversation as they chat things over. I think they're just making sure that it's not given back to the same team twice in a row. And they're going to send everybody over to their benches as they again want to discuss things over on whose possession it was. Did the possession arrow ever switch the last time that it was being held on to? So as they talk things over, we will again remind you that it is the Play for K pink out game for the Golden Eagle women as they are looking to try to raise money to support local cancer charities and the Cheyenne Regional Cancer Center. As everything from today's game, all proceeds from today's game will be benefited back to the Cheyenne Regional Cancer Center to help out with patient procedures. And after the discussion breaks up, looks like it'll stay the way it was. They're going to continue with Eastern Wyoming College with the basketball. And we'll see Moreno do the inbound. They'll fake a pass inside, dish it out to trip. Allie sees Long flash out of the post. She'll try and drive the right side and dumps it back to Long. Lane opens up. Jumper from Long. Splash down. The run continues. 12-0 the run as Allie Tripp able to break that one open a little bit more. Ball sent over to the right side. Jessica Backish will try and dribble her way down to the paint. Gets caught there. Feeds it up top to Tyra Lovelock. Tyra calls her to flash over to the right side. And as Tyra is fouled, it will send the Golden Eagles to the line, I believe. And it will. Foul is going to go against... Didn't see who they flashed up onto the board with that one. I don't think they got it flashed up onto the scoreboard, actually. I think it was Emma Jimenez who ends up picking up her first. There's Lovelock at the line for two. She can't get that to go down, and the drought continues for the Golden Eagles. Minute and 56 seconds to go. The next one is good for Lovelock, so she does get them onto the board, ends the run at 17-6. Minute and 51 seconds to go. Moreno dribbles it to the left side. She'll try and fight her way past into the paint. Hesitation move. Fired up top to trip. Three ball is in and out. No good. Backish loses the race, but to Lovelock for the rebound. And as the Golden Eagles come back up, they have a chance to trim it back down to single digits. Down by 11, 17 to 6. Kelly McGowan will try dribbling to the left side. Gets caught on the baseline. Feeds it back to Spring. Spring leaves that layup over the top of the rim. Picked up on the offensive board by Smith White. She can't get her put back to fall through as it rolls over the top of the rim and is going to be scooped up by Copa Levich. On the other side, Jimenez gets the ball underneath the hoop and the Golden Eagles are going to be forced to take another timeout with 108 to go. We'll take a timeout with them back after this on LCCC Golden Eagle Athletics. Golden Eagle basketball as we welcome you back out to Story Gymnasium. Lovelock moves the ball over to McGowan. And now Backish takes it up top as she moves it back over to Lovelock. Tyra 
Continues to rotate this 1-3-1 one, one zone defense around. Puts up the three ball. Can't get it to go. But McGowan able to track down the offensive board. Gives it over to Backish. Fed underneath to Spring. McGowan all alone up top. Got to hit that one. And she does. Desperately needed basket there by the Golden Eagles. Gets them back to within 10 as McGowan gets her first field goal of the game on a nice dish from inside of the paint by Spring. Trip goes underneath, trying to find Copa Levitt. She'll get the spacing and turns around and makes the layup over the top of Jessica Backish to make it 21 to 19. Right side three ball by Jess to answer back. That's no good. Bounces hard off of the rim back to Copa Levitt. She's got six rebounds. Six foot three out of Israel playing extremely well and effective inside of the paint. 21 to nine as the Lancers try to strike one for one more basket. Jimenez gets it underneath the shot banked up, but it is not going to count as it falls off of the rim. No good. And the L Triple C Golden Eagles go into the next quarter with the score sitting at 21 to nine after one. Back after this on L Triple C Golden Eagle Athletics. Getting set for the start of the fourth quarter. Second second quarter, excuse me. 21 to nine, Golden Eagles outscored 16 to four after the game was tied at five. Now look to try and answer back with a strong quarter of their own. See if they can get the blood flowing a little bit more. Twaylu on the right side. Dribbles the ball away from the pressure of a couple of double teams, Vuksevic comes out there and forces it away as well as Jimenez, but the Lancers can't swipe the ball completely. L Trip gets it back as Jones from the wing lines up a three, able to notch home her first basket of the game on a nice dish from Anya Alvarado Lonbert. Golden Eagles back within nine, 12 to 21, they trail. Jimenez spins to her right, gives the ball outside to Vuksevich. She'll drive into the lane as she wings one high over the top of the backboard. She won't get it to go. Gets her own rebound, though, and brings it to the near side where Jimenez tries to put up a quick shot. That's no good. And Pinedo Saavedra pulls down the defensive rebound for the Golden Eagles as they get it back to the right side. A couple of the substitutions that we should mention have been onto the court. Alvarado Lonberg we mentioned, also getting out there as another three put up and missed by Jones is rebounded inside by Pinedo Saavedra. All but Garrido Lamas is going to get the ball right side. She's the newest one on. She's the newest one to drop home. Another triple back-to-back -back threes by the Golden Eagles as another nice shot. Dribbled home by Laramie County. First assist of the game for Maddie Jones. Jimenez takes it left side, leaves it off the side of the rim. They're going to say she was fouled by Garrido Lamas on her way to the hoop. And Garrido will pick up her first. So Alba gets the first foul on either team of this second quarter. All goes to the free throw line where Jimenez will take her first. She is an 82% free throw shooter, 82.6 to be specific. I'll trip back into it with back-to-back -back threes to make it 21 to 15, and it'll stay that way as the first free throw rims out. Second free throw. That one does find its way through as it settles underneath and Moreno will use that opportunity to sub back onto the court with 8.38 left to go. El Trip trails once again by seven. Still close to being that two possession game that they want to see after being down by as many as 12 entering the quarter break. 
Blanche Toilu spins into a triple team. She's going to get fouled. They're going to say it's on the floor, so she won't get free throws yet. Foul ends up going against Tawny Rodriguez, who gets her third. So she's going to have to head over to the bench for most likely the final 826 of this quarter. And the Golden Eagles have a chance to maybe work with having a weapon on the court or off of the court. Dorito Lamas puts up a three ball. That one bounces into the rim or into the hands of Haley Long. She tries to lead the break, pushes the ball back beyond the or near the half court stripe, in fact, as Moreno will end up with it. She'll dribble to her left, weaves to the elbow, and puts up a short jumper that bounces off rim over to Blanche Tuelu, who's got her first rebound of the game. She brings it up herself. Gives over to Maddie Jones. And now Lonberg, Alvarado Lonberg, wings it inside. Nice little feed to Pinedo Saavedra, who drills the layup through contact and gets another opportunity at the line for the end one opportunity. That goes against Nikolina Vuksevich. And as the Golden Eagles get themselves to within five, they've got a chance to bring this down to just a four-point game with the basket here on the made free throw, but that one rolls off of the rim. Tipped outside to Gutierrez Ciordia, and the lead will go back up to seven as she gets out onto the break, is able to lay that one up and in. El Trip just didn't get back on the defensive side. Ciordia gets her second basket of the afternoon. As Garita Lamas moves the ball back to the near side. Jones takes it, has room on the baseline to drive, gets there, but steps on the line as she was trying to get around the body of Kopalevich and ends up turning it over. First turnover by Maddie Jones, and actually not a whole lot of turnovers by the Golden Eagles in the game so far. Clock winds to 7 minutes and 24 seconds to go. Still a 5-point, excuse me, it's a 7-point advantage, 24-17. EWC on top. Moreno working against Jones, can't get past her. Defense for the Golden Eagles holds steady. Now they'll float the ball underneath the paint. We're driving through and getting contacted to earn a trip to the line is Emily Manville. Manville only gets 1.7 points a game. She's only a 50% free throw shooter, but she gets fouled by Garrido Lamas, who picks up her second foul and will watch as Manville has a chance at the line. First free throw opportunity is up and no good. So the six foot freshman forward out of Torrington, Wyoming gets another chance. This one is good. Gets over the top of the rim and she's gonna be subbed out for as Allie Tripp will return onto the floor for the Lancers. 7.07 left to go here in the second quarter. The first half rolling along. Golden Eagles trailing by eight. But trying to rally back into this one after being down 21 to nine as a game high. That ball lofted inside to Garrido Lamas and she's gonna end up traveling with the basketball as she tried to pirouette on the baseline and ended up seeing that back foot slide around just a little bit too much. So Haley Long will inbound for the Lancers instead and they get to come back the other way. Garrido Lamas picks up her first turnover of the afternoon. Moreno dribbles it to the top of the key. Flasher into the post as Allie Tripp. She throws the ball away, but it was last touched by the Golden Eagles on the way out of bounds, so the tip pass will stay with the Lancers. Good defense to close out on that drive into the paint, though. Golden Eagles seeing little breaks open like you see there for Allie Tripp for the three ball. Can't get it to go. Rebound saved out of bounds. Last touched by the Lancers. And is trying to save it on the way out of bounds. They actually threw it off of their own player rather than the Golden Eagle that was standing there. Twelu was in the area for the rebound, but hey, take it if you're a Golden Eagle fan. Jones will bring the ball up the court, dribbles it to the left side. Finds Alvarado Lonberg. Eventually to Garrido Lamas. And now Twelu drives into the lane. Backdoor cut. That's Parsed or excuse me. Benedo Saavedra with a beautiful backdoor slice to get the assist to Blanche Twelu as she ends up making a six-point game again 
on that little piece of amazing footwork on the inside. And then on the other side, she'll come away with the steal, trying to weave it up coast to coast. She'll end up flinging it forward to Garrido Lamas, and she ends up overrunning as she's going to travel with the basketball, getting caught down low on the block. Tough turnover there after the steal. Got him out onto the run, but... The energy starting to pick up. You can feel it for the Golden Eagles these last couple of minutes. Tyra Lovelock will return to the court for El Trip. As it will be Gutierrez Ciordia to inbound the basketball, gets it to Moreno. Jones will force her to walk the ball up the court as she stays with her to the far sideline. Moreno comes back into the middle, gets cut off by Pinedo Saavedra. Drive into the lane, blocked away. Twelu on the end line when she gets to the basketball is going to end up being caught with it out of bounds. So caught with the hand in the cookie jar and it'll be another inbounds play for the Lancers. Found low, stolen away by Jones. Maddie looking to get out onto the run. Tight ropes the sideline and a foul is going to be whistled this time against, it looks like Haley Long will get picked up and Haley picks up her second. Good steal again by Maddie Jones to get the Golden Eagles out onto the break. That's their third steal of the game. Just keeps them within six on that defensive stop, and now Jones will move the ball near side to Twelu. Blanche back outside to Lonberg. Alvarado Lonberg wants to drive, and instead gets cut off by Kopalevich. Drive around by Tyra Lovelock. She'll float one up in the lane. That rolls off to the side, and the foul is going to be called late. That goes against Allie Tripp, who just got her second foul. So Lovelock should be stepping to the free throw line with 5.25 to go. And she will. One of two so far in the game from the stripe. Golden Eagles have struggled from the line so far. They've missed five of their four of their last five. And now five of their last six have rimmed off. Tough night from the free throw line for El Trip right now. That's been one of the big differences in the game. Second free throw, that is good. So Lovelock continues to go two for one for two at the line on her trip. She's two for two from there in the game, and she's got two points in the game. As that's been the only way she's been able to score. Maddie Jones on the other side is going to get whistled for a reach-in foul. Second foul on Jones. She becomes the second Golden Eagle to reach two fouls. Got pause for a moment. So I think they want to put time back onto the shot clock. And we'll see what happens here. I think they got the foul put up onto the wrong side. So both teams have four team fouls now is what they were trying to flash up onto the board. 25-20, Eastern Wyoming leading this one. Nearly halfway through the quarters, Twelu jumps another pass. She's going to try and get out onto the run, feeds it to Pinedo Saavedra, ball through her legs, and a tie-up's going to be whistled as a great idea again by Blanche Twelu, but good defense running up the court by Haley Long is going to force the tie-up, and the possession arrow goes to Eastern Wyoming. Triple take the... Possession arrow back to their side for the next jump ball opportunity and possibly you get it at the start of the second half now when you can work on some things coming out of the break. And that one thrown away, turned over through the hoop that was Pinedo Saavedra. Somehow she was able to matrix her way away from having that one touched and is able to get the ball back to the Golden Eagles. So we'll take a timeout with this media timeout. Back with more after this on LCCC Golden Eagle Athletics.
Continuing along here in the second quarter of action, 4.51 to go. 25-20, LCCC has been having a much more successful second quarter than they had in the first quarter. They've already outpaced their scoring total. So they only scored nine points in the opening frame. They've got possession with the basketball down by five. Immediately they try to get down to Lila Spring, who overruns the ball, gets it back out to Smith, and or excuse me, yeah, Maddie Jones, excuse me. Spring gets an offensive rebound on the inside after a missed Pinedo Saavedra shot. And now Twelu gets another one for the Golden Eagles as Spring fights her way to the right side. Another missed shot. And El Tripp with several opportunities on the inside, but not able to convert on any. And back the other way, they try to win the foot race in Kent as Allie Tripp able to draw the foul. As Blanche Twelu picks up her first foul. And too many opportunities there to feel good about for the Golden Eagles walking down the court after missing those. And now the free throws for Tripp who has yet to attempt any at the line. But she's an 86% free throw shooter. Expect these to go through, but no, front end does not fall down. And the Golden Eagles stay down by just five. Second free throw, that one is good. Make it 26-20. And El Tripp will try to work it up again against that full court press. Spring outlets it ahead to Jones. Nice big step into the lane. Great teamwork there as Spring gets her second assist. Jones up to five points. Torrington native playing against her hometown team. She decided to take the hour and a half trip to the near side and comes to join the Golden Eagles as Pinedo Saavedra gets the outlet pass from Spring after a rebound inside. Dishes to Twelu, pulls up in the paint. Nice back door again to Pinedo Saavedra, who is starting to torch this defense in this quarter. Six points for Pinedo Saavedra in the game. Golden Eagles on the warpath right now. They're only down by two, 26-24. This quarter has been almost all L trip. Far side pass, cut to the corner. Moreno for three, can't knock that one through. And Smith, or excuse me, Jones again comes away with the loose ball rebound. Passes it up ahead. Spring underneath, that's the defense to wave by, then makes the tying shot to even us all up as Jones gets him back with her second assist. And Spring notches home the field goal. It's 26 all here in quarter number two. Back with more after this on L Triple C Golden Eagle Athletics. El Trip outscoring Eastern Wyoming College these last seven minutes, 17 to five. To get us back to a 26-26 all game, trying to take down Eastern Wyoming College, who enters the game at six and two, and in a very good spot at the top of the region standings. Golden Eagles just two games behind them though, and a win here would give El Trip an opportunity to maybe claw up to that number two spot in the region standings. Pinedo Saavedra gets called for the foul on the drive to the baseline. Terra Siordia comes away with the basket that somehow was able to fall through and gets the free throw attempt. As Pinedo Saavedra gets her second foul, fifth team foul on the Golden Eagles with 3.01 to go. Tamara Smith-White will check back onto the court for El Trip. They got one shot at the line to complete the three-point play opportunity. Siordia just a 55% free throw shooter, can't hit that one and the rebound's gonna be tipped out of bounds. Last touch by Tamara Smith-White. She had an aggressive push come from Copa Levich from behind, but the officials say out of bounds, last touched by Smith-White. Not enough contact there for a foul call. They'll get the ball in, do the Lancers. Left side baseline, they'll give it to Moreno who brings it top of the wing. Now trip to Long. Inside is Copa Levich who drives in and Continues to have her strong game, and the run that the Golden Eagles went on answered back immediately as Copa Levich able to lay that one up and in on the assist by Ali Tripp. Al Tripp gives it out to Twelu. Twelu wants to feed it underneath to Spring, instead skips a pass to Lovelock. Tyrell drive the baseline, gets to the hoop. She's going to get fouled as she's able to attack to the 
Restricted zone inside and ends up getting Kopalevich to be whistled for her second foul. That'll bring Lovelock to the free throw line where she is two of four, right about her average on the season where she shoots 52.8%. So McGowan to the free throw, or McGowan will sub on during the break. And the first one is good for Tyra Lovelock. Make it 20. Seven to 30, Golden Eagles down by three. And Lovelock will make the second free throw as well. Makes it a two point game as the clock winds to under two and a half to go. Moreno hands the ball off. It'll be taken by Gutierrez Siordia. Pass underneath to Kopalevich, batted away. Stays there with Haley Long being the right place, right time. And she burrows her way to a layup on the inside. Haley's got five points. Scored at both quarters to make it 32-28 with that latest basket. McGowan tries to drive inside. Golden Eagles will move it around the three-point line. Twelu drives into the middle of that zone defense and banks it home. Nice attack from the freshman out of England. She's got five points to go with two assists, two steals, two rebounds, and a block shot. It's 32-30. Kopalevich dribbles it to the right side. She'll step through, big step through, off of the rim, no good. The rebound rolls out to Tyra Lovelock. She wants to lead the break, trying to get it into a two-on-one. Couldn't quite get past the defense, and Spring will be her outlet into the paint. Wires one across the lane. That's going to be to Kelly McGowan, who buries the three. Her second triple of the game, and the Golden Eagles out on top on the third assist from Tyra Lovelock, or excuse me, from Lila Spring. 33-32, final minute to go, and now we've got another ball tipped out of bounds. This time, Kopalevich can't get away with the little nudge from behind. She tips it over the top of Tamara Smith-White, and it's going to be L-Trip basketball with momentum on their side. Minute and 10 seconds to go. They have a one-point advantage, taking their first lead after a 5-0 run came from the Lancers. That made it 31-26. Lovelock on the right side wants to go into the paint. Instead feeds it around to Twelu. She'll line up a three. That's off the heel of the rim. No good. Rebound on the ground. Fought for one by Smith White. And she's going to get tied up eventually on the whole held ball inside with the Golden Eagles keeping possession of it. Second rebound for Smith White. She gets the offensive board this time around. Inbounds play will come from Lovelock. She'll float it over the top of the defense to Smith-White. Back out to Lovelock again. Tyra spins to her left, goes back underneath to Tamara. Pulls up, hooks one off of the glass and in. Nice make there by Tamara Smith-White, and she'll get the Golden Eagles up by three. Largest lead of the game for L Tripp. They've been trailing almost the entire way of this game. Pass tipped almost out of play. Allie Tripp gets inside of the lane and is going to run into Blanche Twayley with 18.7 seconds left. Blanche got a clean block on the play too, but when you leave your feet and you kind of, kind of, kind of come soaring into the paint like that, you're going to get whistled for that action almost every time. Love the aggression though coming from the London, England native. Tripp will be at the line and misses the first free throw, so it pays off. Trip 0 for 3 at the line now. Trying to make this one and get the Lancers back onto the board down 35 32. <coughs> they can't. That one no good. Haley Long, though, does get the offensive board, banks it up and in. And on her fifth rebound, she gets her seventh point. Still a one point lead for L Trip. 10 seconds to go in the game, or in the first half, rather. Lovelock dribbles to her left side. Gets inside of the paint, and she's going to get fouled by Moreno, says the officials, with 3.6 seconds to go. It's on the floor, but we're into the bonus as Luna picks up her first foul. So Moreno gets her first, and Lovelock, who has made her last three free throw attempts, will step to the line. It's the only way she's scored so far. Four of six, and can't get that one as that falls off the far side of the rim, but... Got one more coming. Still four of seven from the line, better than her average. And the second one does rattle its way down. 36-34, 
Last second heave time for the Lancers. They'll get it to Kopalevich, and at the horn, her three ball banks over the rim as the Golden Eagles in front by a score of 36-34 over Eastern Wyoming. We'll take a break. When we come back, we will have Golden Eagle basketball coming up in about 15 more minutes here from Story Gymnasium.
Just about ready for second half action to begin. Welcome back out to Story Gymnasium. LCCC women up 36-34, outscoring the Lancers 27-13 to in the second quarter. See if they can keep that rhythm going. And it was very balanced scoring, in fact, for the Golden Eagles. Leading scorers with just six points, Marcelo Pinedo Saavedra, as well as... Well, that is the leader in points that I've got on my list right now. Also, Kelly McGowan, excuse me, also with three. There we go. I was missing the second three that she had put down onto the board. Scored a three in both halves so far. Golden Eagles nearly getting a turnover. They will get a turnover as Marcella Pinedo Saavedra able to finish off a steal for Tyra Lovelock. That's the second steal already for Pinedo Saavedra. On the other side, a ball one winged up to the hoop is going to be missed by Blanche Twelu and rebounded by Haley Long. She'll get it up ahead quickly to Allie Tripp. No room to breathe in this one, the early going of it. Ball inside is going to be thrown through everybody, and a foul called on the floor prior to his shot by Haley Long as Blanche Twelu kind of got juked out of her shoes and ended up on the floorboards. Third foul on Twelu. They'll stay with her for the time being as head coach Anna McWilliams looks on from the sidelines. With nine minutes and 31 seconds to go. Inbounds play will go to the right sideline. Dribble through by Gutierrez-Ciordia, passed into Long. She'll fire one up over the rim. That bounces wide, and Sprang is able to jog over for the rebound. That's her second of the game, and the Golden Eagles retain a two-point lead. Still scoreless in the third quarter. Golden Eagles with possession and a chance to try and get their first basket of the game. Twelu looks underneath, gets it to Sprang, and Sprang is going to be walked into a foul underneath the basket by Long as... Haley's going to pick up her third foul early on. So Long is going to have to play a little bit more cautious inside. She's a big piece of this team when it comes to their inside scoring. On the year, averages 13.4 points a game, shoots 92% from the free throw line. Oh, and by the way, she shoots 34% from the field. So not one you want to see on the bench for too long of a period of time. She also had 7.1 re rebounds per game. Spring, by the way, makes the first free throw, looking to try and add the second one in. Cannot. That one hits off with the front of the rim hard and is going to be picked up by Tawny Rodriguez, who's also got three fouls for the Lancers, and the Lancers will throw the ball away, coming up the court, trying to rifle it up to Alley Tripp. It goes out of play. So another turnover by the Lancers. That's two in their opening three possessions. Gets the ball to L. Tripp to bring forward with Tyra Lovelock looking to her left. It's held up by Moreno. Now gives off to Twelu. Nice inside pass. Goes down low to Spring. Banks her first shot off of the rim. No good. And Long able to get to the rebound first as she got the box out. Two players, in fact, having to box out Spring on the post. She'll get back on defense. Forces a missed shot on the near side by Gutierrez Ciordia. Rebound picked up by Lovelock. She'll find Twelu at the free throw line. Dumps one underneath to Spring, who's able to lay that one up and in. Golden Eagles starting to find that rhythm once again as Twelu gets her third assist of the game. Lancers try trip on the left side wing. Moves over to Rodriguez. Now gets it back, drives baseline, pulls up on a fadeaway that's left off the side of the rim, and the rebound gets tipped out to Kelly McGowan. Kelly wants to run, but she gets held up by the defense, and El Trip will now pocket this one with Tyra Lovelock. She'll get fouled up out near the half-court stripe as Moreno didn't give her enough space trying to dribble around. And the Golden Eagles will get the ball on the near sideline for the inbound. 19 seconds left on the shot clock. 7.54 on the game clock. Lovelock gets this into spring and now will set the offense up to the left side. Twelu left all alone for three. Why not? Blanche Twelu with the rare triple. And the Golden Eagles lead it now 42 to 34. A 6 0 run to open up the quarter. And is that another turnover by the Lancers? It is. As this one gets winged out of play. Lancers will make a substitution as Emma Jimenez subs onto the court. 7.37 to go. It'll be Twa or excuse me, Lovelock to bring the ball forward. Still the starters out there for the Golden Eagles outside of McGowan, who did start the second half. Pinedo Saavedra takes a few dribbles, gives Spring the ball. Now McGowan thought about the three. Instead, 
will bring it back up to the top of the key. Man-to-man -man defense gets beat by Lovelock underneath. She'll swim her way to another layup, and the lead builds even further as Lovelock gets her first field goal of the game. She's now got seven points, a 10-point advantage for the Golden Eagles. Inside pass goes underneath where Rodriguez is going to be fouled inside. A warning also given to the bench as Lila Spring picks up her first foul. Free throws coming up for Rodriguez. But a warning was given to one of the bench players who got up and shouted right in the official's ear. I don't think she was calling to that official, but that official turned and gave her a stern warning. Free throw number one is up and good as Rodriguez climbs that over the front of the rim. And that's the first points of the game in this second quarter or second half for the Lancers. Second free throw is good as well. So two points at the line on the trip. Golden Eagles lead still is at 8, 44-36. McGowan will bring the ball forward. Nearly walks with the ball. Lancers wanted that call as the ball instead goes to Lovelock. Spring will move this one over to that left side. Twelu drives. Held up in the lane, underhands a ball to Spring, and Spring's going to get tied up, they say, on the inside. With four minutes or so off of the clock. It'll stay possession with the Golden Eagles. As Lovelock will do the inbounding, gets it to McGowan on the near side wing for three, short off the front of the rim, but she follows her own shot and double dribbles with the basketball as she gets inside of the paint. So the turnover on Kelly, the first on her in the game unofficially. And the Golden Eagles will head back onto the defensive side again. Dribble comes near side. Jimenez trying to find some space inside the lane. Gets caught top of the key. Finds Haley Long. Still unable to get the ball inside. Long burrows her way to the paint. Leaves one off the side of the rim. Rebound is going to be picked up by Spring again as she gets tied up with Gutierrez Ciordia. The jump ball this time stays with the Lancers. So the extra fight and hustle inside for the basketball by Gutierrez Ciordia able to earn them an extra possession with six minutes and 18 seconds to go. Third quarter of action. I'll set it up with 20 on the shot clock for the second possession of this. Inbounds play goes to Jimenez. Excuse me, that was Gutierrez. Now Jimenez takes it. She'll drive the baseline, slings one over the top of the rim, and another tie-up as Spring goes tumbling to the deck alongside Emily Manville. Excuse me, that actually Tawny Rodriguez. And this time the possession arrow does go with the Golden Eagles. Tamara Smith-White will sub onto the court. Lila Spring will head over to the bench. 6.08 to go as the ball goes to Lovelock to bring forward. Left to right, Golden Eagles here on pink out. Wearing the pink uniforms, working left to right on your radio dial or video screens for those watching online at the LCCC YouTube channel. Pinedo Saavedra gives it out to the left side. Tyra Lovelock spins on the baseline. Nice little Pop pass inside, finds McGowan, but she can't knock the shot through as Allie Tripp comes away with the rebound, outlets it ahead to Long, and that's an offensive foul called on Haley Long, who looks back in disbelief as she just picked up her fourth foul. Massive turnover by the Lancers, who have still only scored two points to the opening four minutes and 16 seconds of this third quarter. And Long will be replaced by Kopalevich onto the court. The 6'3 sophomore out of Israel has put in some good work already, and now she's going to have to put in some more. El Trip will break the press. Nearly Ali Tripp able to just get fingertips onto the ball, steals it away on the turnover by McGowan, and a blocking foul this time is going to get called on Tyra Lovelock as she tried to slide over and slow down Jimenez, who is bursting down the court to the hoop. Second turnover by McGowan unofficially in the game. Well, Tripp only had five turnovers in the first half. 
First free throw is good for Jimenez. She's now got four points, has scored in every quarter. Cannot get the second free throw, and Pinedo Saavedra going for the rebound, loses it out of play, and it goes back to the Lancers, and they have a chance to trim this to a two-possession game with the basket here. Jimenez will start the action. Looks deep to the near side where Tripp gets the basketball. Freya Twelu, left side. It'll be Rodriguez missing the shot, but she wings the rebound back out, and another one goes to Kopalevich. Skip pass to the right side, finds Allie Tripp. She'll go inside to Kopalevich, but a double team forms, and she has to move the ball back out to Tripp, who drives around a screen, gets loose of Twelu, and lays that one up and in. Tripp's got six points. One of the leading scorers for the Lancers in the game so far as the clock ticks to under five minutes to go. Media timeout coming up next. Spring, or excuse me, that Smith White drives the baseline. Gets it outside to Kelly McGowan. She'll put up a shot that's going to be blocked away out of bounds and stays L Trip basketball. Lancers kept boxing it out, waiting for it to go out of bounds. They had all the positions, but every one of them thought that it was just off of McGowan, and there was no way a shot that that was that weak came off of Kelly McGowan, and that's what the officials saw and said. Five-point lead as we hit the media timeout, 39-44. Golden Eagles still leading by five on LCCC Golden Eagle Athletics. Welcome back out once again to Story Gymnasium. Kayla Burgraff here, high up above the court as the Golden Eagles leading by five, 44 to 39 over Eastern Wyoming College. As Lila Spring gets the inbounds play here on the opening of the possession and drives to the hoop to get a lay in to go. She's got five in the quarter. Golden Eagles go to their star from Queensland, Australia to get them back up to a seven point advantage. Pass to the wing, tipped out of play. Lila Spring, the last to touch it on the way out of bounds. And we'll have Moreno inbounding the action here as Luna will get this one on the sideline to Jimenez to start the EWC offense. And now we've got a foul called. No. We've got the shot clock needing to be reset. It looks like so they're going to run it to 14 seconds. I guess it had never started, but they will get it going now. And on the inbounds play, we start things back over again right where we were. Trip with the basketball. Gives this one over to Rodriguez. Drives to the lane. Good defense by Twelu. Got over, and the rebound picked up by Spring, who goes up ahead to Kelly McGowan. McGowan, though, wasn't at the ball, and it's going to be saved back into play to the Lancers on another turnover. Jimenez to the right side. Throws the ball away. Pinedo Saavedra there for the steal. That's her third of the game, but she ends up throwing the ball away as Jimenez is able to come up with one. Turnover is getting a little bit faster and looser here on the court for both teams as we wind under four minutes to play. Still a seven-point lead. Trap on the near sideline. Golden Eagles can't scoop it up as Rodriguez cuts into the lane. Pass goes to Jimenez beyond the three-point line. That's good. Just two out of system for the Golden Eagles on that offensive set. And Jimenez able to get the first triple of the second half for the Lancers, who have only made two three-pointers in the game. Seven-point lead down to just four for the Golden Eagles, who have led by as many as ten. Spring takes the ball at the elbow. Takes one dribble, gives it out to Twaley. 
Blanche wants to drive, uses the dribble to get into the lane, but then loses it off her own side, tried to cut through a triple team, which she almost got through, but Moreno was able to reach in at the last second and deflect it away. So Moreno will bring the basketball back up the other side, right to left. White uniforms for the Lancers here at Story Gymnasium. As they look to try and complete the season sweep of the Golden Eagles and move to 7-2 and two in Region 9 North play. L Tripp, on the other hand, trying to bounce back and get a new winning streak going. They lost to Northwest College after, and then took down Central Wyoming College on Saturday. Pass goes to Jimenez. Four seconds on the shot clock. Kopalevich gets tangled up, and she's going to get helped out with a foul call from the far side as Kelly McGowan was just trying to get back into it. And Kopalevich will step to the line for two as McGowan picks up her first. You appreciate the effort down low by McGowan for sure as she was just trying to get back into the play and not give up the easy shot. Just a shame it happened when the shot clock was about winding out and Kopalevich was just trying to find the hoop. Free throw is up and good as the lead down to just three for the Golden Eagles. Lancers have fought their way all the way back. And with this free throw, it's now 10-10 in the third quarter. 46-44 in the game. Two-point lead for L Tripp. McGowan moves the ball to Twelu. Pinedo Saavedra trying to find Spring. Lazy pass is going to be picked off. Turned over and up ahead. Rodriguez takes this one in and lays it up and in to even us all up on the board as Tawny Rodriguez is going to see a timeout taken by the Golden Eagles as they want to try and slow things down and talk things over. 46 all, third quarter with 2.19 to go. Back after this on LCCC Golden Eagle Athletics. Time winding down here at Story Gym. Just about 12 minutes of gameplay left. Golden Eagles going to try and rally back from down by as many as 12 in the first half. Got a 10 point lead in the second half. Now tied at 46 all with 2.19 to go. It's been a fun one for sure between these two sides that know each other so well. A little bit of a rivalry between Torrington and Cheyenne and EWC and the Golden Eagles as L Triple have the basketball out of the timeout. Twelu takes the ball to the corner, gives it off to Kelly McGowan for three. Massive three-point basket by the freshman out of Las Vegas as she gets the Golden Eagles back up by three. The ball nearly turned over by the Lancers as they airmail one, but is tipped by the Golden Eagles on the way out. 2.05 to go. L Trip getting a big bucket there from McGowan, now they need that big defensive stop. Tripp gets open for three. That's good to answer back. Well-designed play by the Lancers, and Allie Tripp's got her first three ball of the contest. Normally shoots 33% from deep. Lancers have had a very off night shooting the basketball from deep, and that's one of the reasons the Golden Eagles are where they're at right now at the lead is Twelu tries the three. That one saved from going out of play to Tyra Lovelock. She secures it and now gets the ball to Twelu, who drives into the hoop, and the Golden Eagles are back on top again. Twelu now with 10 points in the game. Pass goes right side. Kopalevich moves it back outside to Ali Tripp. Minute and a half to go here in the third quarter. Kopalevich inside, 
Wings it out to Moreno. Her three ball with the feet set is good, and the Lancers continue to trade baskets as Moreno drops home the triple. Kopalevich gets the assist. 52-51, starting to rain offense here. Tyra Lovelock gets the ball inside. Pinedo Saavedra wings it out there to the left side for McGowan for three. Another answer back as Kelly's got her fourth of the game. Pinedo Saavedra, a nice find on the right side. 54-52, everybody's finding a way to score from deep as that ball tipped out of play. Will be last touched by McGowan on the baseline with 47.9 seconds to go. Maddie Jones will inbound the basketball for her, come into the game for the Golden Eagles, and she'll guard the inbound as the Lancers have possession. Down by two. The two sides putting up buckets in this third quarter. Play goes short. Kopalevich hands off to Moreno, followed outside by Maddie Jones. Bounce pass back to Kopalevich. Double team forms. They'll get it into the corner where Ali Tripp puts up the three and gets another one to go. So Tripp continues her hot shooting. She gets back-to-back -back triples now. Eight points in this third quarter for Ali Tripp. Pinedo Saavedra hands off to Kelly McGowan. Spring to Jones with 10 seconds, or excuse me, 19 seconds on the game clock. And a travel called on the drive inside is going to give the ball back over to the Lancers on the turnover. And the Lancers up... 55-54 can hold for the final shot. Inbound goes to Moreno. She'll bring it up the far sideline. Hesitates as she crosses over the timeline. Gives the ball off to Manville. Now gets it back to Moreno. Drives to her right, trying to take on Spring, who blocks the shot away. Outlets it up ahead to McGowan, and her three off the front of the rim at the horn. As we head to the fourth quarter of action, it's anyone's game, 55-54. Stick around for the final frame of this one on LCCC Golden Eagle Athletics. Welcome back, start of the final quarter here at Story Gym. L Trip trailing by one, 55-54. Trying to get themselves their fifth conference win of the season and coming against the Lancers, it would be big as they force an opening miss. Maddie Jones able to get to the rebound. On the left side, Kelly McGowan keeping things up where she left off. She is in fuego from deep with her fifth triple. Maddie Jones with her third assist and L Trip back up by two. In a blink, pass goes near side for Moreno as the Lancers see if they can continue their answers back. They were in that third quarter. This time, though, a shot airmailed by Gutierrez Ciordia is rebounded by Blanche Twelu, and El Trip will push the pace to Jones. Inside, they find Spring, lays it up, gets the contact, and gets fouled while she's at it. She's got herself a chance at another three-point play. She's already got seven second-half points, 11 in the game and a chance to build the lead up to five if she can notch home the free throw as Manville picks up her first foul. Deep breath for Spring at the line. She goes through the routine and 
splashes home the free throw. Golden Eagles in front. Good second half for Spring, who's got eight points now in the second half. Manville hands the ball off to Moreno as Luna looks to attack, has space. Golden Eagles gave her the mid-range, and she instead pulls out to Kopalevich. Gets it back. Jones goes out to play defense on her. Kopalevich is going to bank one somehow through the glass, and Kopalevich has scored eight points and once in every quarter. 60 to 57. Can't say Spring didn't have good defense on that one. That was just kind of a wing and a prayer that banked home. 8.47 to go as the clock winds. Golden Eagles get the ball up top to Twelu. Blanche thought about the three, instead drives, kicks to McGowan in the corner. Another three, that one halfway down, just kicks out to Allie Tripp, who wants to break. She'll bring it up to the top of the key. Now attacks left side, goes in, and a blocking foul goes against Twelu. As they say that she just was sliding a little bit too much when she got down the court. And that will send Ali Tripp to the free throw line for her fifth and sixth free throws of the game. She's 0 for 4 from the line. Excuse me, 1 for 4 from the line. Lovelock will sub back onto the court for the Golden Eagles. Up 60 to 57. So it'll be Jones, Lovelock, Pinedo Saavedra, Spring, and McGowan as Tripp able to make the first free throw of this trip to the line. Now two of five at the stripe, trying to make it a one-point game with the basket here. Doesn't get it. Rebound tipped over to Lovelock. And Tyra, who's got six rebounds, has really been becoming more and more of a presence inside when it comes to the rebounding game for L. Tripp. Jones wanted to go inside to spring. She's getting fronted down low in the post, working hard, and she's going to get the ball with Rodriguez, doubling her up alongside of Long. McGowan gets the offensive board on the backside. She's fouled on the way up and will step to the line for two. Goes on Gutierrez Ciordia, who gets her first foul. So McGowan at the line, first free throws of the day for her, 74% free throw shooter on the season, makes the first one to get the lead back to three. Kelly, a 16-point game, five triples, including three here in the second half. Big ones, too, as far as when they came. Gets the second free throw to build the lead up to four. L Tripp looking at a career high from Kelly McGowan in this one and looking at trying to get that Big win in conference play. Move up to five and four and put themselves into that third, fifth spot for pretty much for good. Roll, rolled along the rim by Moreno. That's going to miss off into the hands of Pinedo Saavedra. She's got her third rebound. Ball sent to McGowan. Kelly sees it to Tyra Lovelock for three. That one looked good until it wasn't. Off of the front of the rim, rebounded by Tawny Rodriguez. She'll outlet it up ahead to Trip. Trip finds herself overcommitted, able to dish it outside to Haley Long, who rolls that three ball off of the rim. And there's Pinedo Saavedra for another rebound. She's got four. Clock winds to nearly seven minutes to go. 62-58. Golden Eagles throw the ball away on the near side. Last touched by Maddie Jones on the way out. Tyra Lovelock was trying to swing it to her in that corner. And he'll trip over double-digit turnovers in the game, about 12 or 13 of them on the official numbers. So L Tripp will set up on defense. Lovelock nearly able to get the steal. Moreno has to be switched off of, and she'll move it out to Tripp. Tries a three. That one good somehow. She never even got her body fully squared to the hoop, and Allie Tripp hits her third triple of the game. Golden Eagles lead cut back to one, 62-61. Pinedo Saavedra on the near wing, gets the ball underneath. Kelly McGowan cuts the hoop, but misses the bunny underneath. Trip there for her fifth rebound, tries to get onto the run. Alley gets caught up inside of the lane, wings it up, and a tie-up called on the block shot by Lila Spring, who got inside and got her hands intertangled. Stays with the Lancers on the possession arrow with 6.28 to go. Moreno will inbound. And we've got a question from the near side. I think this has to do with shot clock. As there's 23 on the shot clock, seeing if they reset this or not. 
So actually, no, they're going to say possession arrow is actually over to the Laramie County Community College Golden Eagles. So the jump ball forces the turnover, and El Tripp can try and build on a one-point lead. Pinedo Saavedra will inbound the basketball, gets it to Jones, who spins her way up to the sideline and has the ball poked out of bounds by Moreno on the way up. Right in front of head coach Dwayne Salisbury, who's sitting there waiting for his game while talking with some of the boosters and foundation members on the far sideline. Tyra Lovelock will inbound, gets it to spring, back to Tyra. Basket here would be huge as Jones will line up the three. Maddie can't hit it, though, and it's Rodriguez who gets the defensive board. She's got four of those now for the Lancers who move the ball inside. They're trying to get Tripp involved more and more as her second half has been impressive, 12 points in the second half. But she ends up having the ball tipped just wide of her on the way inside of the paint by Pinedo Saavedra. Gets a hand on another pass inside. Tripp will step back. That splash down is good as Tripp gets to her sixth point of this quarter. And Lancers now go up by one, 63-62. Golden Eagles in this seesaw affair looking to try and answer back. Spring inside, gets covered up by J Haley Long. Instead, they'll go to Pinedo Saavedra, and she leaves hers off the side of the rim again. The Golden Eagles seem to be forcing things a bit here in this fourth quarter, but the defense gets back once again to force another miss as McGowan gets the rebound. She's got five in the game. Jones trapped on the near side is going to see a timeout taken by the bench to keep it in possession with the Golden Eagles. We're going to take this one with six or five minutes, 36 to go. We'll take a break on a 30-second timeout. And back after this on LCCC Golden Eagle Athletics. Back and forth, this game goes. El Trip every single time, they seem to pull away. Sees the Lancers get themselves right back into it. Lead as much as five in this fourth quarter. 62-58, the last big lead, but the Lancers responding back with a 5-0 run of their own to make it 62-63 with 5.36. And this game kind of evident of what the region has been like for any team trying to get out of Region 9 in the north. It's been a little bit of a dogfight for teams all up and down. Some crossed over wins that have shocked some people. Western Wyoming taking down Casper to hand the Thunderbirds their only loss of the season so far. I think the Lancers have been maybe not a surprise, but have definitely impressed a lot of people coming out of the gate with a 6-2 and two record in a Region 9 North play. Western Wyoming, also a dangerous team, sitting at 4-3. and three. And all of that leading into what should be some Fun weeks down the stretch. Golden Eagles could use this win, though, to try and get themselves into that home game, trying to get into at least the four seat. They'll have the basketball out of the timeout, down by one. Lovelock, Twelu, Pinedo Saavedra, McGowan, and Spring as Kelly gets the ball in the left corner. Double team forms. Pinedo Saavedra, elbow jumper. That's no good. Excuse me, Tyra Lovelock gets the initial offensive rebound inside. Can't get the shot to go after Long gets out there and forces it as a miss. Three ball the other way is nailed by Gutierrez Ciordia, and the Golden Eagles find themselves down by four. That three-point shooting game that I talked about earlier by the Lancers that had been so quiet in the first half starting to suddenly pick up in the second half. They're starting to rain them down. That's six in this last two quarters after they only had one in the first half. Twelu will try to drive, spins up, and leaves it short off the front of the rim. Another tough break by the Golden Eagles on the inside. Missed a lot of inside shots, but the Lancers turn it over, coming back down the court, and El Tripp will keep possession back. 66-62, the Lancers going on a long run of their own. 
eight. Oh, in fact, the run that they've been able to push on. McGowan gets the ball to Pinedo Saavedra. Now Spring takes this one extended from the block, dished outside to Twelu. Drives into the lane, puts up the shot. Defense kept their feet planted, and Twelu can't knock that one through as the rebound picked up Ryder Rodriguez, outlet it up to Long. Haley fouled underneath the hoop as she's going to step to the line for the first time in the game. I think Kelly McGowan got whistled for the contact. So McGowan does get whistled for the foul. That's her second. Only the second team have foul here in the fourth quarter. Free throw number one is good. As Coach Anna McWilliams in the ear of the officials right now about the quality of the calls or the consistency of the calls as that one falls through. Nine points for Haley Long, four below her season average. As she gets the lead up to six for the Lancers, 68 to 62. Twaley on the right side wing, gets the ball underneath. That's Lila who's going to get fouled on the play. Rodriguez reaches in and makes the contact. And we've got a warning being issued as well on the inside. As Rodriguez picks up her fourth foul, so now she and Long both playing with four. Spring stepping to the line where she's gone four of five. Made her only other free throw in this fourth quarter. And she gets the roll on that one. Big make for Lila. Gets it back to a five-point game, 68-63. Ends a scoring drought for the Golden Eagles that had lasted almost two minutes. Second free throw, also good. So Spring makes it a four-point game. Two possessions separating the two sides. Long brings it up the near side wing. Guarded by Pinedo Saavedra, dribbles before handing off to Moreno. Inside, Moreno gonna be fouled by Tyra Lovelock. She's looking, hoping that she would have gotten the jump ball and instead it's gonna go as her third. Third team foul and Moreno steps to the free throw line. First free throw is up and good as Moreno remains perfect. She's got 10 points in the game. Lancers, two players in double digits, a couple of them bordering on double digits. As the next free throw misses, Spring rises up for her sixth rebound of the game, and the Golden Eagles stay down by just five. Another time for a basket here to start crawling your way back in with over three minutes to go. Lovelock, three ball, skips off of the rim, no good. We've got a foul called off of the ball, and that's going to be it for Rodriguez. So Tawny Rodriguez has fouled out with 3.30 to go, and she is done for the game. And subbing on will be Kopalevich for her with three and a half ticks to go. All goes to the baseline. Tyra Lovelock, who missed the last three, so she gets a reset on it, will do the inbounding. And as she tries to go to McGowan, she gets it to her. Kelly looks to the corner, finds Pinedo Saavedra. Back up to Kelly, drives at the top of the key, dishes off to Twelu. Five seconds on the shot clock. Twelu with the finger roll, scoops it in. Blanche has seven in the second half, 12 in the game. Golden Eagles down by three but right back into this one after a long 8-0 run coming from the Lancers. Driving inside, Rodriguez, excuse me, Gutierrez Ciordia dishes one underneath, able to find her way open. Copa Levich gets her second basket of the contest. Gets the lead back up to five as the clock winds under three minutes to go. Lovelock runs into Blanche Twelu. The two of them colliding on the court as the ball goes back over to the Lancers who missed the layup on the inside long is going to be fouled on the way up, they say, as both Pinedo Saavedra and Spring got there, kind of roofed over the top of it, and they say Pinedo Saavedra reached over too much. Haley Long's offensive rebound, though, building on the turnover by Lovelock. Two free throws coming up for the sophomore forward out of Gallup, New Mexico, and she makes the first. 72-66 EWC. Trying to pull away in this one. 
with 2.40 to go. Another free throw here. Gets it to a three-possession game, but she can't hit that one. Spring gets to another rebound as she goes up ahead. Pass to McGowan. Stolen, though, as her pass was picked off on the right sideline. Moreno gets it back from Gutierrez Ciordia. As Tripp tries to drive in. Haley Long now in between the rings. Takes this one with 12 on the shot clock. Waits for that one to wind down. Tries to attack against Pinedo Saavedra. Nearly gets the steal. Instead, it's going to be sent near side where Kopalevich lines up a three and misses that one off the back of the rim to Pinedo Saavedra. Marcella finds McGowan. Kelly wants to drive. Double team finds her as they move it back over to Tyra Lovelock instead. Kelly will wrap around Lovelock as we wind to under a minute or two minutes to go. And we've got an offensive foul called against the Golden Eagles. Pinedo Saavedra will pick up the contact and the turnover with her fourth. That's her third turnover of the game, too. 148 left to go. As it's still a six-point game, and Kelly McGowan's going to make another foul really quick in the backcourt and shooting free throws is going to be Gutierrez Ciordia, who is the one you want to send to the free throw line, if there is anybody. Just a 55.3% free throw shooter. And cannot hit the first one. So if you're going to extend the game, again, she's the one that you want there at the line extending the game. Takes the second. And makes that one, seven point game. El Tripp now has got to get a basket. And on the right side, Kelly McGowan putting up a three. Got a whistle first though. 141 to go. And another clock issue, looks like. Everyone's gonna work their positions. Will be not sure what's going on here. They're trying to figure out where the inbound's coming from. It'll be Golden Eagle basketball on the near sideline. They stopped the Golden Eagles in rhythm, and really just nobody, nothing really changed. 23 seconds on the shot clock still. So the ball gets sent out to Lovelock, pass to the corner, stolen away on the pass inside as Lovelock this time saw her try to McGowan get intercepted. McGowan nearly steals the ball away on the other side as she goes falling into the bleachers on the far sidelines. A minute 27 left to go. Lancers keep possession of it again. And Moreno will take the inbounds play. Twelu forces her to the near side. Bounce pass finds Kopalevich. They'll see it to Long. Fakes a pass to her left. Hands the ball off to Moreno. Now she wants to drive. Dances past Springs. Clock down on the shot clock as they will get the ball out to Long. She'll put one up at the horn, and that one goes out of play. It's a shot clock violation. Golden Eagles get the ball back after one of their best defensive stances of the game. So Golden Eagles with 60 seconds to go. The ball to Lovelock. Now Pinedo Saavedra moves it over to Twelu. Blanche wants to drive on the baseline. Does. Gets trapped there. They'll wing it out to Lovelock. Her three ball rattles down and good. Tyra needed that one to go through. And that one trims it back to a four-point game. Foul whistled on the other way as we got free throws coming up for the Lancers. It looks like Haley Long is going to be the one to step to the line. Foul goes on Lila Springs, second one on Lila. Haley, three of four from the free throw line. Missed her last one. And gets this one to go. She's almost 92% from the line on the season, so really one of the people that the Lancers would probably appreciate at the free throw line more often than not in these final 46 seconds. Makes that one too. 
And a timeout taken by the Golden Eagles as head coach Anna McWilliams will talk things over. We'll take a break with them. Back with more after this in the 75-69 game. You're watching LCCC Golden Eagle Athletics on YouTube. It'll be Golden Eagle basketball out of the timeout. Lancers heading out with Kopalevich, Long, Gutierrez, Siordia, Ali Tripp, and Moreno. Spring, McGowan, Lovelock, Jessica Backish, and Blanche Twelu for the Golden Eagles. So they've got a bit more of a shooting group out there as they start it with 46 seconds to go, down by six, 75-69. Twelu inside is going to hit the deck, no whistle. The rebound is picked up by Jessica Backish, and as they come back up the court, Golden Eagles won't foul yet. Now they will as Lila Spring stops it with 32.4 seconds to go. And Spring picks up her third. as we will see Moreno step to the line where she is three of four. See Pinedo Saavedra sub back onto the court for Jessica Backish. Four point game, 75-71. Free throw, no good for Moreno. Keeps it at a four point game, every little miss helps for the Golden Eagles climbing back into this one. So Marino would be hoping this one goes through and it does. Ends a run of two straight misses for her at the line. Gell Tripp now with under 30 seconds to go gets the ball to jo or excuse me to Lovelock. Now McGowan all alone for three. Another big one cuts it to a two point game. Long moves it back to Ali Tripp and Tripp's gonna get fouled with 20.3 seconds to go. Now the free throw's really getting important as Kelly hits her sixth triple of the game. And Blanche Twelu is out of the game as she picks up her fifth with 20.3 seconds to go. 76-74, big free throw attempts here coming for the Lancers. First one is up and good. Makes it a three-point game as Allie Tripp has bounced back from a really rough showing at the line in the first half and much better in the second half of play. Free throw number two. That's good. Makes it a four-point game. Timeout taken by the Lancers to force the Golden Eagles to walk the ball up the court. We will take one with them. Back with more after this on LCCC Golden Eagle Athletics. Golden Eagles need to bring the ball up over 90 feet of hardwood in order to get another big basket down by four. They got 20 seconds to do it. Lovelock goes left. 
Pass intended for McGowan, tipped back from the three-point line. McGowan gets it back, gets a screen from Spring. She'll wing one to the hoop, trying to draw the foul, can't get it, and the rebound is going to be picked up underneath the hoop by Haley Long, and that is pretty much going to do it on this one. Long picks up her 10th rebound of the game, so she's going to get a double-double. And Jessica Backish picks up her first foul with that one at the line. It is long for two free throws. She's already gone five of six from the line and misses the front end of this one. 91.9% .9 from the line. She's going to definitely be an attribute to somebody somewhere when she gets to the next level because she's definitely going to be going to the four-year level if she wants to. Makes the second free throw. Golden Eagles will inbound this one to Tyra Lovelock. She'll bring it to the left side, trying to get one more back look to the hoop. They can't as Gutierrez Ciordia steals the ball away, and El Trip falls by a final score of 74 to 79. We've got men's hoops coming up in just a little bit here on El Triple C Golden Eagle Athletics. Hope that you'll stick around here on our YouTube channel. 